What do you make of this? There was a lot of talk about whether we were worried about a second wave and what it would do to the economy and the markets. I'm not sure we priced in fully that the first wave never quite left us. No, I think it's a great point, uh, David. We uh, we never really got to uh, find out about the second wave. We're still very much in the middle of the uh, of the first. To be honest, we're we're not surprised. Um, we believe that the uh, whole recovery is going to be much slower um, and much more uneven uh, than most people believe, and certainly than it's priced into the into the markets. I think having uh, some of these sharp increases in cases. Uh, is actually quite natural. And I think it, we will continue to have them and have hot spots and flare-ups as we go. What we've got to do is to decide that actually individual behavior needs to change. Far too many people think that when uh, a state opens up that we can go back to behaving the way that we used to. Um, and we are unfortunately in for a period uh, where social distancing and masks are going to be the way we need to live for the foreseeable future. And I think that we, we need to learn to practice those in order to open up safely. So the net of all of that, so uh, David, David, is that we're going to have a very slow recovery. Uh, we are going to have, uh, we think, the economy will be smaller at the end of 2021 than it finished 2019. And markets uh, are priced for a much sharper V-shaped recovery, which we don't think is likely. And so the risk off trade that you're seeing today and in much of June is likely, we think, to continue through the summer.